Hey everybody, it's Kay from Asian Boss. Japan has recently introduced a new law to regulate the home sharing industry known as Minpaku. This has forced Airbnb to remove 80% of Japan's home share listings and made a dent in travel plans for many foreigners. So how will your trip to Japan be impacted as a result of this change? We hit the streets of Tokyo to find out what both the locals and foreigners had to say about this issue. How popular would you say Airbnb is in Japan? Do you think a lot of Japanese people are aware of the brand? I would say so. I mean, we didn't have a problem looking up Airbnbs when we came out here. And oh, so it seemed like there was good choices, yeah. I think so, yes. I don't think so. Most people don't know the word Airbnb, but I don't know the word Minpak, I don't know the word. Not as much as abroad. Like, for example, if I tell someone I work on an Airbnb, most Japanese have no idea what I'm talking about. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I think so. 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 法律、住宅宿泊事業法を発表したことはご存知でしたか？ああ、さっきはいニュースで見ましたね。Yes, so we lost our we lost we got our first night canceled because all the the person that we were staying with didn't、uh, re up or or sign in, and so we had to last minute find another one. How much do you know about the new law? I don't know all the specifics of the safety requirements, but like 180 days seems like it limits a lot of people. Like what they're able to earn from Airbnb. Just 各自治体に届け出を出さなければ、その Airbnb とかにも掲載されないってことですよね。今まで民泊っていうのが結構グレーゾーンだったところを政府がまあある程度えっとこういうふうに申請をしなきゃダメだよっていうのを決めた。Under the new law, the the owners have to first register their homes, like you said. Comply with all the requirements like allowing inspections and installing emergency lightning along evacuation routes.、Ah. Also, the owners can only rent out their place up to eight, 180 days per year. Do you feel these requirements are reasonable, or is it too burdensome to those that who want to rent out their place? Seems a little over the top、yeah. to me. The lighting、oh, would、yeah. would get me. Like the evacuation lights, it's like my home. I wouldn't want to put lights and all this stuff in my home. Because people who are looking for Airbnb, they're looking for just something simple, simple. you know.、Yeah. Normally, they're simple kind of people, you know. You're looking for just like an easy place to hang out,、yeah. you know. Just drop come, your stuff off, and sleep, and yeah. go. Yeah. yeah, you don't need all the、right. extra stuff. Maybe shower. Maybe. Yeah. No, not maybe. <laughs> well, I think it's troublesome, but then I think it's also the way to like protect the the person who like to、uh, rent the room and also the owner itself. Because if anything bad really happens, let's say like a fire, who is gonna be responsible of that? In my case, where the property is specifically just rented out for people from Airbnb, I think it makes it really hard to keep going. Especially when you have property taxes and you pay rent to your your property manager, your landlord. I don't know how they're gonna do it. It's a little tricky, but in a hotel, you can always pay rent. But if you decide to rent a room, you have to pay for the entire room. So if you want to do a business, you have to pay for the entire room. So if you want to do a business, you have to pay for the entire room. So if you want to do a business, Roku Man, Nissan, go at the book, and hats you page gray, hats you person to gray, home page, car, and I cannot chat on this. You know, I'm not a little bit of 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 a little bit Why did the Japanese government make made it so strict suddenly? That's a really good question. I have no idea, honestly. Like I can understand putting some regulations, but this strict of regulations, I don't understand. Is that because、uh, the government tried to take control, and probably uh, because uh, the the rooms that ran out, the the neighborhood have some voice. 
that like they feel that like having like a visitor to come in, like not the uh, person who resident of the building, they feel unsafe. So right, yeah. Because like if your neighbor is a host of Airbnb, mm -hmm. every day maybe. Yeah, different people come, right? Yeah. Yes. I see. Maybe to get more money back into the hotels maybe. and right. Take away from some of these other places. So tourists only have option of choosing hostels sure. or sure. hotels or Olympic ga 2020年にあるっていうことでこれからもインバウンドというか海外からの観光客の方が増えるにあたって何かあった時にその責任が政府になるのでそういうまあ政府として推進するならばちゃんと規定もしないといけないっていう背景があったんですかね多分既存のホテ